it's time for story time. Ready to be? Good morning. Good morning, church. Good morning. This story happened some years ago in a place called Broken Bow, Nebraska. How many of us have been truck drivers? Or how many of you have been truck drivers? Uh, truck drivers. And how many have been um, bikers? Motorbikes? I used to ride bikes, never drove truck. <laughs> I had my license for truck, but I never drove a truck. Yeah, I did one day. Anyway, I had this tired truck driver pulled up at a rest stop to get something to eat and, you know, a little drink and then he would be on his way. So while he pulled up at this rest stop, he was served a sandwich, some fries, and a coffee. While he was there, at the same time, three bikers pulled up. And while he was eating, they just walked in and one of them grabbed his sandwich, another took his fries, and another took his coffee. It's kind of rude of them, you know, but they look like rough bikers. And sometimes bikers can be very rough. So he, what he did, he, what the truck driver did, he got up quietly and went to pay what the attendant and he walked off quietly. And the biker said to the, the one who was serving, or the, the maid or the waitress, they said to her, he's not much of a man, is he? They tried to belittle him, you know. And after she, she just walked off by the window to look outside, and she saw him driving away. And they said to her, he's not a man. And then she said to him, he's not much of a truck driver either. Because <laughs> on his way out, he ran over three motorbikes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we think that we think that justice, you know, we repay. But sometimes Sometimes you know you want to get even when bad things happen to you at the moment, you don't think, you just want to return the favor. But that's not a good way to get even. Or to get justice. <laughs> anyway. <coughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. Maybe. Sometimes I 
that's, that's what we do sometimes, you know. But God sees us. He knows our response. Um, sometimes, that my wife is telling me this week, that <clears throat> I'm just saying this because you're laughing. There was, there was a neighbor in somewhere in New York, and he was playing his music very long. So the next door neighbor, next door to him, came out and tried to talk to him to cut the music. And the guy went back inside his house, and he came out with a scissors. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you saw this in the news, and he was calling at him, at the neighbor who came to tell him about music. But when the neighbor came out, he also came out with a gun. So when he, when he went back inside, he told his wife to go back inside, and he was walking back out, he took the gun and he shot the guy. Twice. And then he shot his son. Also, and the son was taller than him about three times. So he killed the father and the son. So sometimes in our response, I'm sure he probably regretted what he did, but it was too late. So the mother lost a husband and a son because of our instant response. So in all our dealings, but I have to go to the director and keep us safe. But sometimes we do things that it's too late to say sorry. I'm sure that Trump driver probably was regretting what he did, but too late. So I will face situations every day in life, in school. Let's ask God to give us the patience. I think you turned your mic off. Oh, I did. Okay. Okay. Let let let's pray. Who wants to pray for us? Anybody? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of another opportunity for us to have story time. May you help us, guide us, and protect us, and help us to listen to you when we make decisions. Amen. Amen.